Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Today, a quick review of what you're seeing right now. The Samsung QLED monitor, the curved one, as you can see. So, uh, CJ79. CJ79. There is a whole backstory to this, so why it's here. But to summing it up, mainly because of, you know, the era that we're in, you guys, and working from home and all that. So uh, I'm glad to see a lot of employees here in Holland taking good care of their employers. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's you know, in the big picture, the reason why it's here today, arrived here for Mike. So let's just open it up, see what's inside. Is there anything else that's worth sharing from the box, the outside? No. It's just no. it. So it's this model. CJ79. The thun Thunderbolt. 37 inch. Yeah. 21.9 ultra wide monitor. There it is. Right, let's open up this bad boy. I was already working on that. Yeah, it's really huge. It's big. Huge! It's huge! It's huge! So... What's that? I'm not sure. It's heavy. Oh, I think this is to mount it on the wall. This Could it be? power supply. This is probably to mount it on the wall. <laughs> and this is a box uh, of goodies. It's like Christmas kit. all over again. <laughs> Look at that! Mike is tall and yet he seems like a child next to that uh, <laughs> big box. I'm like a child. Like a child in comparison to that big boss. The big boss. The big box. It's really huge. So wide. So this is what you would expect. You know, the manual, the this, the that. The user manual on a CD. Wow. Okay. All right. We'll get back to this in a minute. There it is. There it is. Oh, I love that it's white. It's white and gray. White and gray? White but and I, lo gray. I love this color. It feels like something that uh, Apple could have made, if you guys know what I mean. Power dry. Love it. Reminds me of the, the, the feeling that you get when you look at Eve from Wally. Okay, so it's already all pre assembled. Yeah. Good it is pre assembled. Is it, is it, is it heavy, Mike? No, Should I just put down the... Not that heavy. No? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to put the camera down, you guys, and get back to you. All right, so there it is. It's like a bride. Look, we're going to unveil it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wow, you guys. Let, let me put it, yeah, put it this, this way. The right direction of the light. Yeah. It's big. Like this. You know what? This they have been around for quite some time now, but it feels like as if they're only now getting the attention from the you know the majority yeah. of the the, you know, the cost. They're not that crazy expensive anymore, so that's maybe that's it. For yeah. some reason, they now making their uh, like entry. They, they, you feel like when you look things up, you feel like as if they're being re um, reintroduced. Yeah, maybe that's the word that I'm looking for. Feels like as if they're being only now reintroduced, although they've been uh, around for quite a while. And I'll be honest, you guys, when I saw this, uh, because they tried this with TVs also, um, it's like, curved yeah, ones. the curved ones. Yeah, I was like, yeah, 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 this is just another scheme, another this, another that. But there is something to this. There's something to this. I mean, it is true. And uh, somebody on YouTube m m compared this to the, um, the silver screen, you know, the, the cinema, the movie theater, that when you sit in the movie theater, um, uh, this is what you're looking at, basically. I mean, it, what you're looking at is a curved screen so that um, things won't be, how do you say that? Deform, they won't get a, a different shape because they're standing away from you. So to keep it as best as possible, to keep the, the picture and the, everything on the picture as best as possible, it's curved toward you so that um, so that you won't end up in a situation where everything is far away from your eyes. You know, the, the angle of your eyes is not really coming as it should be. Yeah, well, you know, the, the story behind this is I always, uh, I, I, when we were still in the office, I used to work with two monitors. 
Yeah. Um, For you, this is this is why you, yeah, yeah your own work, preference. I, I always, or I have to work with large Excel sheet, etc. And um, one thing I'm noticing now that when working from home on a 13-inch laptop, that is something that is really, yeah, it bothers me. <laughs> yeah, especially because you know? you're spending more hours now, yeah, because you're working now, so. Yeah, and when you're trying to compare two Excel sheets together on a 13-inch laptop screen with the ribbon. It does uh, tire your eyes. Displayed from, uh, from the Excel sheet, that's almost impossible thing to do. Yeah. Because then you can only see one or two lines. True. From each uh, Excel sheet, which is really terrible. So. At work, I used to always have two monitors and, um, you know, whenever technology stuff was replaced, uh, we always said, no, we want to keep the two monitors because we don't want one widescreen monitor because that will be too small. And then one day, uh, one of the mechanisms on one of the monitors went bad at my end. So what happened is that it could only be in the in the top, um, how do you say that, position. And when oh, I, I put it down, it, it will would spring right bounce back, back again. Yeah. yeah, so I called the, the IT help desk and they couldn't even find my specific monitor in their system anymore because it was already written off many years before. Um, <laughs> so I thought, well, that was that, and I, ta I taped the monitor down, and it, it, it still worked, of course. But then a week later, I got in the office, and I found that my two monitors were replaced with... One big um, one. Yeah, one big one. Ah, one, that's uh, kind. One ultra-wide one, like this, only from Philips, which is more expensive than did one, this one. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, we it, have good really, experience with Samsung yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. But the one I got at work was from uh, from Philips. Yeah. And I loved uh, that monitor as well. Our national pride. So yeah, well, when we get got the opportunity to, uh, to pick out stuff using the home office, I thought, well, let's go for the uh, for the ultra wide monitor again. Yeah, it's really not a luxury. It really uh, serves a purpose, you guys. This yeah, is not just luxury. One thing that I saw because we don't have desk in, uh, at home. We don't have the space. The, yeah, you know, we don't have I both work from, uh, office from laptops, room. Um, to we don't have a desktop computer, only laptops. Um, that I th I saw that they are not that crazy expensive anymore. Relatively, yeah, they're yeah. still around thousand euros. Yeah, well, this if you have a good one, six fifty. Oh, okay. So, okay, that's that's not that expensive, I think, for this monitor. Um, Look at that yeah, screen. So, so that's the reason why it's here. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to have a backstory. Yeah. So let's see what. Um, let's fire it up and see. Let's fire uh, it up. Yeah, let me just give you the back, see what's on there. Wait. Let me turn it around a bit so you can yeah. have better light. Some light on there too. So, what is on the back? Oh, yeah. So, this is how it looks. This is how the back looks. We're going to give you the dimension and all that in a bit. But, yeah, this is it. So, this would be the main power supply. I think, or not. So you have this for the headset, and then you have these two for the USB. Like this. USB one, USB two. But this is not just. This is what's the name of this specific USB mic? Do you happen to know it? Hmm? USB. Yeah, this is USB portal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Does it have any specific? USB A. USB A. Okay. I was trying to say the fast USB port. So that's USB 3.0. And what's this? Uh, the, here the, is more. Here is more. One of the added advantages to this monitor is that it also communicates with an Apple computer via Thunderbolt 3. So that's. Yeah, you can just plug plug and play, as they call it. You can just plug your um, MacBook and uh, ready to use.
So yes, I see an HDMI. That's probably for gaming. I would say, I don't know. No, HDMI is also the standard of laptops. Okay. So my work laptop has an HDMI. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, so yeah, this is the power supply. And um, from what I've read, it, it also charges the Mac by a Thunderbolt because that's the Thunderbolt standard. So that's the reason I think why this uh, power supply is- uh, Is this big? It's very really big. Yeah. It's a, it's a heavy duty power oh, supply. There it is. So here you have the- um, 24 volt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is also the first time that we're unboxing. I'm sorry guys if uh, sometimes I'm a little bit distracted. So Just trying to see what's on there. Thinking. <laughs> this is how the. This is how this looks. It has yeah. a nice feeling. Euro plug. That's the, the Euro Thunderbolt plug. three cable. And that's the Thunderbolt uh, Thunderbolt three. And also included, which is very complete. Yeah. Is this HDMI cable? I love it. I love the color. Uh, so all cables that that are need that you need, yeah, are already supplied. So that's uh, that's really that's good. luxury in this time because a lot of companies, you know, decided they're not going to supply you with cables because yeah, they just that's assume true. that you probably already have them. But it's always nice when you get the whole package. Yeah. So there so we have it. We're going to plug in one HDMI cable. Yeah. So guys, it's a very cloudy day. As you can see, it's dark. And like we said, we have a small uh, home. So um, that's why we're doing this, presenting this to you on the kitchen table. And, and I just turned to... the light on because it's it, it really is dark. It's very cloudy. That one goes in here. It goes in here, yeah. like this. So there is one that's 85. And there's one that's 15 volt. No, watts. it's a watts, 15 yeah. watts. 50, 8, 58 watts and 15. Let's yeah. see that. So there's still. Yeah, it has to do with, um, if you, I, I think it has to do with if you want to charge your MacBook. It's nice. Through that can... same cable as well or not. See, and then you just, Close it like this. Yeah. It's nice. And it keeps all the cables together. Yeah. And I think even here, there is a... There yeah. should be something. There is an it's... opportunity oh, to... Oh, uh, right. Okay. Put all cables in to there. To guide the cables so that they won't be flapping around. Yeah. Are all three of them? All three of them. Yeah. Should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see, there is space for all three of them. Uh, they supply free cables, so I think should be okay to throughput all yeah, I cables think so. through I think here. So. I can tell that there is enough space, look. Yeah, and we don't need any more cables. So if you have additional cables, there is a little bit more room, but, but not, not much. Not, not much, not no, much. I think it's gonna be, uh, yeah. you have to be very lucky to squeeze a fourth one in there. Yeah. Yeah, or it has to be a USB cable or something like that. So these three cables that we see here, what is it? One is for the power. One is power. Yeah. One is USB-C. Yeah. And one is... Um, the Thunderbolt. Uh, HDMI. Oh, okay. All right, so that's that's the three cables. Yeah. Thunderbolt. That's going in one of the Thunderbolt ports of the... Uh, of the Mac. All right. So is it charging? Uh, no, it's not charging. Okay, maybe because it's not on. Let's take a look. Let's see. So it should be that easy. Plug and play. Should be, yes. Is it turned on? Okay. Wow, look at that. Look at that, you guys. See, there it is. It really is plug and play. Is it charging now? Yes, it is. Now it's charging. See? No. Yeah. Okay. 
I love it. I love when things just work as they should be, at least as they promise. Now, I went for, uh, you know, one of the highest wallpapers that I uh, stumbled upon. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. So even when you close it, yeah, every... that's standard Okay. Yeah. Now, I've never done this, so I was just oh. surprised. I've never done, I've never <laughs> used, worked on a different uh, monitor other than the computer, the actual computer, the, the desktop. So, uh, what I was saying, you guys, this is this might not be the sharpest picture, the sharpest wallpaper. We might try to find something. Maybe Mike has something that's higher than this. This is, I think this would qualify as HD. Yeah, it is HD. I think so. So, I think what, what I loved about this, uh, was it this that we watched yesterday where someone pointed out that you can see different colors flowing yeah. through each other? Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Someone did comparison with other um, uh, uh, monitors and you could just tell that the same picture with a beautiful sunrise on, on this one, it had all these beautiful colors, orange uh, um, and, and, and all that uh, around the sun that was coming up. And the same picture on a different uh, screen didn't show any of that warm, warm colors that surround, uh, you know, that you would expect in a sunset. So. And you, that's what you see here also. I love this. I love it. Yeah. Wow, you guys. I'm just, I'm just admiring it. It's so beautiful to see something on this such big screen, especially if you have to work with it, especially with numbers, Excel sheets, numbers and all that. Well, you know what happens when you work with that on a small screen, your eyes just get tired and they start to you know, lose focus, literally. So this hopefully would help you, but it would also help if you do um, video editing, for example, you know, everything was some, because now when we do video editing on this, you do have to um, drag your tools around, you know, and always make sure that uh, what you're using at that point is what you have on um, uh, at the ready, because there's just no room on your screen to see everything at once. And sometimes that's what you want. Sometimes you want to see everything at once. You want to see the tracks, the sound, the, the image. You want to see, sometimes you want to zoom in and all that. And it just doesn't work on a small screen. So you always have to, um, you know, make choices. What is it that you mainly want? A C or... Well, you guys know what I mean. So, Mike is pairing right now the keyboard and the mouse, mouse pad. Oh. Sorry. Wow, and that also, guys, is really, really easy. You just go to the Bluetooth section on your Mac, yeah, in this case. Just, that's just Apple. And uh, yeah, that's why I say in this case, the Mac, the Bluetooth section, and then, you know, easy job. I think the keyboard is out of gas. So let me change the batteries there. See, there it is. So guys, like I said, they provide you with a user manual on this CD. What you can do, the best thing that you can do is just make backup of this on your own computer. And that way you have a digital copy, uh, you know, at the ready, whenever. On your computer or your network or your cloud. They also provide you with a quick setup guide, which is always a good sign. It means that something can be set up quick, which is this one. But as you guys can see, I really didn't do that many cuts. It was almost real time all the time, this video, just when I had to help or uh, grab something or, but um, very easy. That is, in this case, we're working here with an Apple iMac, uh, an Apple MacBook, I'm sorry, working with an Apple MacBook. So um, it's almost, it, it is, it's not almost, it is plug and play. Uh, with it a, is. It is, yeah. We're just having, having problem um, with the keyboard in the keyboard and the mouse now the mouse was no problem but the keyboard is here and it's okay no so 
This is what you get. This is the list you should check if everything is in there. The quick step guide, the warranty card, the regularity guard, uh, guide, user manual, power cable, AC-DC adapter, HDMI cable, HDMI DV1, HDMI, I'm sorry, HDMI DV1 cable, DP cable. Oh, these are optional, so you might get them, you might, maybe not. Sorry, what? It says it optional. Oh, okay. Optional. So some stuff uh, like the HDMI yeah. DV1 <clears throat> cable, yeah, okay. we didn't no, get. What was included was a standard HDMI cable with two HDMI plugs at either end. Yeah. And a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Yes. So uh, they provide you with everything for a quick start, which is a very good thing. Yeah, it is. included in the box. It is, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you have that too. Because nu ben je hier. All right. Okay, Mike's adjusting oh, the speed okay. of the. I wasn't aware that you were filming. It's okay. So yeah. So there it is. There is your desktop. There's the desktop, you guys. Uh, let's show something. Let's. Sh what, we sh what should we share with with our friends that are watching right now? Mike just started Final Cut. So if you were to fill this... Whoa, page, my this God. <laughs> now you really have some... No. Look, look, guys, look. See, this is what I mean. Normally, wait. Normally, if I'm editing and I want to keep an overview of all that I'm editing, I always have to click the filters away and all this to uh, expand the workspace here. What I'm actually... Uh, what I... You know, where the images are. The, the soundtrack, the images, and all that. So on my MacBook, I always have, you know, to click this away and, and you know, try to come up with ways to expand this, to have a lot, lot more space here to work with. But with this, it will never be a problem. It's amazing. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. Love, 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 love. Look at that. Wow, this is amazing. This is a completely different experience. Yeah, it is. This is completely different. This is nothing you can compare with what you can do on uh, your Mac book or your, um, you know, whatever desktop, uh, laptop you're using. Uh, you know, one other advantage I think is that everything that you use to connect to your computer is just replaced with one cable. So this yeah. Thunderbolt 3 yeah. cable is delivering power to the MacBook. And it's, it's connecting it with the screen. To yeah. The screen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Love it. I love that. That is really efficiency. Yeah. Look, and it also looks like very inviting. You know. Otherwise, sometimes when you see cable, you're like, ah, oh, that mess right in my face. But right now, look, the table is clean. You can do you do uh, do your work. You don't have to worry about too many cables. There's just one running. See. And um, this is it, you guys. This is. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, look at that. What a convenience. It's amazing. It's amazing. I just love all his space. Now, I must Maybe say... I can zoom in a little bit more on the, uh, on the actual field. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes, exactly. Good point, uh, Mike. Now that you have all this space, you, you can actually... Position. You have more position. Yeah, you can now zoom in because otherwise what I would do, I would go very, very slowly, not to miss a frame if I want to make a cut on a specific certain point. So that takes a little bit more time and a little bit of patience. But with this, you can just blow it up and you can actually look at... You know, look at it from a different perspective. Uh, perspective. That's for those of you that are working with editing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you don't have to look for that specific point where you want to make the cut or the split. You can just blow this up, your project, and it, it will just present to you itself to you in a different way. You can just, you know, manage it differently. So guys, so when you blow up your project like this, See, you can actually tell just by looking at it, you can uh, approximately decide where you need to be by just looking at it. Because it's now a whole different experience that you're looking at. And I just love it. And I mean, this is for the, for the video editing. What to say about, for example, gaming or watching a movie on this screen. One other thing that was included yeah. is this wall mount. Yeah. 
but so, uh, we won't be using it i think no we won't be using it but you can uh, mount it to the wall as well and they even provide the provide the wall mount yeah that is crazy so that is uh, that's a good thing um what i'm interested in uh, what i'm curious about right now is what if i don't know if we have something that's 4k yes we have oh, this is 4k and just see how it looks, but not within an editing pro uh, software, but just as a video. Let me see how, how the quality is. Guys, something else I forgot to, sh to show you is as soon as you open your uh, laptop, uh, it, it it jumps from this to, w to your laptop, whatever you're working with, whatever, whatever you have open. So look, Mike is looking at different stuff on the screen of the laptop that we see there. As soon as you close it, it jumps right back. Whatever is there jumps right back to uh, your curved screen. So. so we were hoping to share a movie with you right away, but um, I need a movie player on my laptop. That's why um, Strangely enough, Mike was there. sighing. It isn't there. I did, I, I did got it at once, but... Uh, I think because, I don't know, at some point where you do a new installation of the software, sometimes you tend to forget to make sure that everything is back on your laptop. So anyway, so we just got it back in a minute and we'll be sharing with you a movie on this screen. See how it is. Are you guys looking? Look at that. Look how funny it is. <laughs> you know, to just be watching a movie on a curved screen. This is the first time for me. <laughs> I, just, I just love it. Love it, love it. Especially if you are uh, if you have this on your desk in uh, your office room, you know, you can, like I said, you can use it for different stuff. You can watch a movie. You know, if you want to have a little break in between, you can do uh, video editing. You can do video gaming. Yeah, we still need to calibrate the screen because this is right out of the box, so it needs some modification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We haven't we haven't been tinkling it too much, but um, Not at all, at all, no, at all. Just as is, we just took it out of the box and showing it to you guys. We didn't do any adjustment, so uh, you know, to our needs, but. I think it's too funny to have this on the background, even in your kitchen, on your kitchen table sometimes. Sometimes you want to have something while you're busy in the kitchen. And like I said, of course, in the office, or you can just use it as a background um, while listening to music. You know, have something on the background while you're working. Sometimes it does give some sort of a comfort. So I think I love it. I love it. Plus, of course, the purpose what, that Mike got it for, which is for his work. All in all, all in all, it's a, good monitor. it's a good monitor, absolutely. Look at that. And the colors are nice and the, you know, I don't see anything crazy. I'm a little bit distracted because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look to see if I see anything that annoys me or anything that I can share with you, you know, as a, as a down, downside, downside of this, but not seeing anything so far. So that's good. Anyway, I think this is it, guys. I don't know what else to say. Uh, we might be do a follow-up. Maybe not. If we don't do a follow-up, it means everything is okay. Just like with Little Robot. Uh, we didn't do a follow-up because there wasn't anything to tell. This thing, thank God, knock on wood, works perfectly. And there's not, you know, anything to uh, follow up with. So uh, if you guys don't see any follow-up about this one, it means we're still happy. Still happy customers. But for now, I mean, I don't see anything. It's just it's just good all around. So that was it. Anything you want to add to that, Mike? No. Uh, like I said, it's just a quick review. I mean, uh, there are a lot of specifics, of course, for those of you that are interested in the specifications of this thing, but I'm sure you can find the list on the internet. What I'm uh, sharing with you here together with Mike is, you know, the actual feeling, like the actual feeling when you get this out of the box. How does it feel when you look at it all around, when you use it and not the technicalities, because, um, you know, 
the bottom line is not only technicalities, but how does it perform in real? And that's what we try to do with these uh, short reviews. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're looking for curved monitor, you know, this could be one. Like Mike said, it certainly is in a very uh, reasonable price range. And uh, it, it performs well. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any tips or advice. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Another video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, one little thing. You're, you're not hearing any sound because we turned the sound down because this is, of course, copyright material. And we do not want the copyright strike, especially not with Disney. They're very aggressive when it comes to their stuff. So, But yes, I can show you. There are speakers on this thing and it does work. Thank into consideration because look, direct light oh, that falls onto it. But yeah, I just closed the curtains a little bit.